Hello, it's Chef John uh, testing out the new microphone, and uh, today we're doing stuffed summer squash, which is a delicious vegetable side dish. And there is my very irregularly shaped summer squash. And those are some sometimes called starburst. They also come in yellow, and actually the yellow ones tend to be a little more uh, e evenly sized. Uh, I got some goat cheese, I got some plain breadcrumb, I got some romesco sauce. And as usual, all the amounts and all the details and all the secret uh, info is on the site, so check it out. Now, when you cut these squash, I want you to be careful. Okay, I'm going to take off a little bit of the top and bottom. And the outside is much tougher, and it's actually kind of brittle, and the inside is very soft. So if you try slicing this in half evenly, it's very difficult to get an even cut. So I kind of almost scored around the edge with the tip of the knife and once I've gone all the way around then I can slice down through and the size the diameter isn't what you're going for okay see those are different diameters but when I trim them I'm gonna get them the same uh, thickness that's what's important so they cook evenly so I'm gonna do a little freeze frame there I just learned that so thickness more important than the shape then you're gonna take a spoon and we're going to scoop them out, but not too much. Just a little bit, okay? Because there's not really any kind of seed, uh, big amount of seeds in there. We just want to make a little bit of a well for our cheese and our sauce. And if you got one of these doodads, one of these melon ballers, uh, you can use that. Really, a spoon will work. The only advantage of the melon baller is it's just sharper. All right, I want you to preheat your oven very hot, 450. And in your baking dish, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to lay in our scooped out summer squash. Again, I didn't go too deep. You'll see when I do the close-up here. Another thing I learned, doing close-ups. All right. That was the mailman, by the way. Uh, okay, so we're going to season this with salt and pepper. And uh, see, I had a salt-pepper mix left over from a steak, and it wasn't enough pepper. So I hit it with the pepper grinder. And then, very important. I want you to crumble your cheese, and I don't want you to spread it. I want you to crumble it in a regular little crumbles. I'm going to say there's going to be about a tablespoon per squash, tablespoon per squash half. And what we need is cracks and crevices, all right? Because if you spread it, it would be smooth and there wouldn't be cracks and crevices. What's going to happen is we need a sauce in our breadcrumbs to kind of have space to, to intermingle. And uh, that won't happen unless you're uh, kind of crumbling like I did. So about a tablespoon of cheese, and I don't know. You know, I hate to give exact amounts because this is all just cooking. So I'm going to say it's about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sauce. Now, I'm using Romesco. And again, you read about that on the site. It's a spicy uh, red pepper almond kind of Spanish sauce. You could use salsa. You could use hot sauce. You could use a lot of different things, any kind of uh, pepper relish. And then about... A teaspoon of breadcrumb goes over the goat cheese and the sauce. And then, just to moisten it, and this is very important, about a teaspoon of olive oil on top of the whole thing. Okay? So first it's the scooping, then the cheese, then the sauce, then the breadcrumb, then drizzle of olive oil. And we're going to bake those. It's just an estimate, 15 to 20 minutes. And man, are they golden brown and delicious. And I'm actually going to let you listen to these uh, sizzling really nice okay now as far as doneness these are going to continue to cook obviously once you take them out so you want a little bit of resistance to the knife all right you don't want them just super droopy is that a culinary term droop droopy anyway uh, let me freeze frame there once I tested it see that olive oil I'm not throwing that away I'm gonna strain that olive oil that's gonna make a vinaigrette to go with whatever dinner I'm cooking here so you don't throw stuff away and there is my out of focus finished plate of delicious stuffed summer squash. I do need to get a digital camera so I can take some awesome sharp after uh, filming photos, uh, but not this time. One, one step at a time here. And that's it. Go to the site for the ingredients. I hope you enjoy that. And uh, anyway, we're still, still testing sort of, but uh, we're getting better. So anyway, make that very delicious and uh, enjoy. Enjoy.